Fair enough. All right. Okay, thanks very much for coming along today. Um, my name is Gary Watts, G-A-R-R-Y, W-A-T-T-S. I'm a detective inspector and the officer in charge of Task Force Hydra. Just to let you know, uh, I'll only be speaking about the incidents that occurred this morning, uh, and I certainly won't be answering any, qu any questions in relation to the application that was made by, or made on Friday, with the Supreme Court. I'll just read a, uh, a short release and then open some questions in relation to what happened this morning. At about 4.10am this morning, um, four, possibly five gunshots were discharged into the Bandidos Clubhouse on Stanley Street at Woolloongabba. The damage was caused to a window and also an awning, and also some damage to a, a restaurant nearby. Approximately eight minutes later, further gunshots were discharged into a tattoo parlour in Park Road at Milton, and that tattoo parlour has links with the Bandito Outlaw Motorcycle Gang. Uh, damage was again caused to the windows off the premises and also some internal damage. At around 4.35am, a motor vehicle was detected by police on patrol, totally engulfed in fire at Mount Cutha. Uh, the vehicle is a Mazda 6 sedan, and at this stage we have been able, unable to ascertain the identification details on that vehicle. We are currently uh, investigating to see whether these incidents are linked, and uh, the Queensland Police Service has established a uh, task force, codenamed Operation, or codenamed Kilo Cajun, C-A-J-U-N, to investigate uh, these, uh, these offences. I'm now open to questions. Were there any witnesses to either of the shoot? Um, I don't believe so at this stage. Our inquiries in relation to that are still ongoing. And we're still canvassing uh, both areas. Were any suspects caught in pictures of them? Oh, that's, a, that's a matter for uh, the investigating detectives. Were the bullets used the same? Uh, it's unknown at this stage. Um, both premises have been the subject of uh, scientific and ballistic examination. And we'll, uh, How long will that take? Um, I'm not too sure. Um, I don't know at this stage. Again, uh, the, the premises are un undergoing scientific and ballistic examination is at the moment. Um, again, it's a little bit hard to say at this stage, but uh, it's my understanding that a, uh, a large uh, calibre or solid shot uh, was possibly used in these incidents. And the, um, at the tattoo parlour, that has links to what an outlaw motorcycle gang was at, was at the Bandidos? Or? Yes, the Bandidos outlaw motorcycle gang. Are the Bandidos um, at this stage, yes. yes. I'm not, I'm not going I'm not going to go into the exact details of those links, but suffice to say that I can tell you that they have links with the Bandito Outlaw Motorcycle Gang. How frightening is it that this is happening? It's of concern, obviously. Um, these sorts of uh, acts occurring in public places will not be tolerated by the Queensland Police Service, and where possible and where sufficient evidence, evidence exists, uh, we'll be putting offenders before the courts. Is there a concern that it's escalating? Um, I don't know whether it's escalating or not, but certainly these in offences are of concern. To the police. Um, it's unsure. You know, uh, these things have a tendency to uh, do a little bit of a tit for tat for times. But whether there's going to be any retaliation for this particular set of circumstances is unknown. What would you say about people who are considering retaliation? I'll consider very carefully whether it's worthwhile. As I said before, and I've said uh, in the previous media releases, if we can gather sufficient evidence, we'll, put, we'll be putting the offenders before the courts. Do you know something? Look, that's certainly a course of inquiry that we'll be looking at to see whether uh, this incident or these incidents have anything to do with incidents we're currently investigating. Would you say another outlaw motorcycle gang is behind? Or is that, I mean, that's obvious? Oh, look, at this stage we have no idea who's behind uh, these current incidents. Are you aware of two motorcycle gangs apparently calling some sort of truce over the weekend, one being defence? No, I'm not aware of that, no. Uh, do you think the car was Look, that's still uh, under investigation. At this stage, we have been un unable to link uh, those incidents, but we're certainly looking at that. Yeah, why are you looking at all three of those? Well, obviously, the first two have uh, Bandito Outlaw Motorcycle Gang links, and then a vehicle uh, totally consumed by fire a short distance away is something that we look at as a matter of course. In the eight minutes, eight minutes? Approximately eight minutes, yes. That's relatively short, but it's 
short period of time, are you looking at coordinated attacks on these two, or are you confident that may have been one followed by the other two by the same? Look, uh, we'll be looking at all avenues in relation to that. Why does there need to be a new task force when we already have the task force Hydra? Well, task force Hydra is made up of uh, personnel from State Crime Operations Command. Um, the uh, task force Kilo Cajun will uh, consist of uh, task force Hydra investigators and also investigators from the Metropolitan North Region, the Metropolitan South Region and Operation Support Command Police. And are they looking specifically at those two incidents from early this morning and that's it? Well, they'll be, uh, they'll be joining with um, Kilo Aquarius, which is a previous investigation for the offences in April, and uh, we'll be looking at the whole raft of, of offences. We noticed, I guess, a stray bullet, or stray bullet hole, as you mentioned, in that um, takeaway store next door to the clubhouse. Is that your biggest fear, that eventually this will you know, give you more than innocent property damage and someone innocent will get caught up in this, this sad attack? Well, that's the, most, most certainly a, a valid concern, is that, uh, that uh, innocent persons and, uh, and innocent uh, persons' property becomes a victim of, uh, of these type of offences. That's, that's right. That's, good. that's exactly right. Um, are the banditos or any other oak town or like groups on notice given the, the action that was last uh, Friday with the, the victim? I think uh, any criminal organisation should be on notice if they want to con continue with these sorts of active acts of crimin criminality. Uh, not offhand, no. Uh, but the Bandito's Clubhouse and the Taps Brew Parlour, are they the same chapter, the link within the same chapter, or are they two different chapters of the Bandito's? It's my understanding that the, um, the Tattoo Parlour has links with the Centro chapter of the Bandito's, whereas the Clubhouse is the um, Clubhouse of the Brisbane City Bandito's chapter. Gary, has Centro chapter been able to find a Clubhouse? Uh, I'm un unsure of that. You've obviously spoken to members of the Bandidos. What, how, what's their reaction? What have they said? No, I'll probably won't go too, too much into what they have to say. Other than at this stage, they are cooperating with the investigators. Are you looking outside the Bandidos then? Of course. Are you looking within the... Would it, would it be, are you investigating internal links within the Bandidos if they were from different chapters? What is committing these offences? At this stage, we have no idea who committed these offences, so we'll be looking at, at all options in relation to that. And we certainly be seeking public assistance in that regard. But you're looking at internal bandidos. As committing these offences. Well, as I said, we don't know who committed these offences, so we're looking at all of them, avenues. Can you explain how the bandidos cooperated? Beyond no, no, I won't go any, any further into that. And you consider this a drive-by shooting, like they were actually someone in the car probably going past, firing... I, I can't, can't, can't answer that question at this stage. You don't know? Or? No, I don't know. How did the police um, find out? Was it a triple O call? Or oh, I, I don't know about that. Um, given I guess, but, I mean, the neighbours report hearing it, it was I, I, I don't know the exact details of the reporting of either job. I can certainly find that out, but I don't know it here. Given the tip of nature that you mentioned, is that something when the police are involved, they can get involved in that sort of Oh, no, we seek to, uh, to have dialogue with the, uh, the members and uh, explain to them uh, what our thoughts are in relation to that. Whether they take heed of that's a matter for them. Will you be stepping up patrols around your own bike clubhouses then, given what's happened? Well, it's certainly an option available to the service, yes. Or do you fear that more clubhouses will be targeted than the Well, it's, it's an unknown. And the okay. one Gabbard ones, it's the current headquarters or current? Clubhouse, yeah, it's a clubhouse of the Brisbane City chapter, yes. Okay. Um, I guess, do you think do you think any of this is linked to the Supreme Court action? Uh, I have no idea. I, I know you said you haven't identified the massive six that was found burnt out at Mount Cliff. Are you able to say yet whether it's stolen? Not at this stage. No, that uh, that vehicle is the subject of scientific examinations, and at this stage, um, um, we can't exactly uh, establish the identifica identification details of that vehicle. Okay. Thanks very much. In relation to this matter, at this stage we're just examining the scenes. As the investigation progresses, obviously we'll be looking at all our options to identify the offenders. And the ballistic stuff, how long is that going to take? Will it take a week or 
I don't know. It really depends on the uh, the work volume of the scientific or ballistic officers. But we'll be certainly asking for, the, for this to get back as soon as possible. So how many people are in the new task force? Uh, I'm not going to go into the exact details. Other suffice to say that Metropolitan North Region, Metropolitan South Region, and Operation Support Command personnel will be assisting Task Force Hydra staff. Sorry, Gary, are you, are you aware that um, uh, some, there is some stolen, um, some stolen property allegedly by the banditos that's been released from Duffin Gary Police Station today? I believe it's four uh, camper trailers that were taken from Bribe Island. Is it? No, I'm not aware of that. Uh, it's not something I'm going to get into here. Is it, is it as big as, say, that Gold Coast? It's not something I'm going to, going to release here. Okay, thanks very much for your time.